two former schools that predate Singapore's independence are set to be demolished, paving the way for a plum site next to Commonwealth MRT Station to be developed for housing. The roughly 7.6-hectare site, equivalent in size to more than 10 football fields, houses the former Newtown Primary School at 402 Commonwealth Drive, the former Newtown Secondary School at 121 Queensway, as well as a track and field the two schools shared. Property analysts said the site is suited for both public and private homes, or a mix, and at about 7.6 hectares, is large enough to house more than one project. But given current property developments in the area, they said there is no urgency to roll out new homes. Based on the Urban Redevelopment Authority's URA 2019 Master Plan, the site is zoned for housing. It has yet to be assigned a gross plot ratio that determines how much development is permitted. Responding to queries, the Housing Board HDB said agencies are studying plans and will announce details when ready. It added that site preparation is underway and contractors have been appointed for the demolition of structures that will take place over the next few years. When the Straits Times visited the site on January 25, notices to residents of nearby HDB blocks in Commonwealth Close, which abuts the site, indicated that demolition works for 402 Commonwealth Drive began on October 3, 2023. A project title board at the site states that works are expected to be completed in the third quarter of 2025. While contractors were seen in 121 Queensway, a project title board has yet to be put up, and it is unknown when demolition works will formally start and end. Newtown Primary School was officially opened on July 26, 1965, by then Finance Minister. Go King Sui. It was located alongside Permisura Primary School, which opened on June 7 that year. Mrs. Margaret Anderson, 74, a teacher at Newtown Primary for more than 35 years from 1967, said the two schools were originally known as Queenstown North and Queenstown South before getting their respective names, Permisura and Newtown as postmen would confuse the schools with Queenstown Primary School in Margaret Drive. Sports matches among pupils, and even teachers, of Newtown and Permisura Primary Schools were common, she added, noting that there was no fence between their two compounds. In 1992, Newtown took over Permisura's campus when the latter closed down. The school relocated to 300 Tanglin Halt Road in January 2009, ending its stay of more than four decades in Commonwealth Drive. The campus was then used as the Ministry of Education's Heritage Centre, which opened in 2011 and closed in September 2019, before reopening in Bilster in August 2022. Newtown Secondary School was founded on January 2. 1965, a few months prior to the opening of its neighbour, Boharadan Vocational School, by then Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, on June 19 that year. In 1969, the vocational and secondary schools were merged, with Newtown taking over Boharadan's campus. Mrs Anderson said the two Newtown schools decided to build a sports track. She took part in several rounds of fundraising, which eventually led to the track being completed between the two schools in 1975. Plans to build a swimming pool did not materialize due to a lack of funds, she added. Newtown Secondary School eventually outgrew its Queensway campus and at end 1998 moved to its current Dover Road site. The compound was then used as an interim campus for seven schools over two decades, Queensway Secondary School 2000-2001, Fairfield Methodist School Secondary 2002-2003, River Valley High 2005-2006, Clementi Town Secondary School 2007-2008, to 
CHIJ Teresa's Convent, 2010-2011, Assumption English School 2013-2015 and CHIJ Kellogg, 2017-2018. Mr. Daniel Lim, 60, who attended Newtown Primary School from 1971 to 1976, said it is a pity to see the school go. The Samaritan piano teacher fondly recalled times spent with friends. And that the canteen's mee siam was very good and cheap, costing 10 cents per serving. Also etched in his memory was a visit to the school's ground floor dental clinic where he had a decayed tooth extracted in his lower primary years. The syringes were frighteningly large in those days, he added. Mrs. Anderson, who was his form teacher in 1974, said the school's doors were originally saloon-style types, which she felt were a safety hazard for pupils who might get hit by the swinging doors. She recalled returning to school one morning to find all the doors' copper hinges had been stolen overnight, purportedly by a thief who wanted to sell the metal parts. I will miss the buildings, but changes are inevitable, said the retiree. More reluctant to accept the impending demolition is Commonwealth Close resident Catherine Leong, 72, who feels the schools are part of Queenstown's heritage. Miss Leong, who has lived in Block 84 for about six decades, is concerned that development of the site, the track in particular, would inconvenience residents. They have used it for exercise and as a shortcut between their homes and amenities in the town, such as Tanglin Halt Market. Even when the schools were still in operation. Having to skirt the former Newtown Primary School, which takes twice as long, would inconvenience residents, especially seniors. She added. Asked about the concern, HDB said pedestrian connectivity between Commonwealth Estate and Commonwealth MRT Station will continue to be available during the demolition phase and as part of future development, but did not address the impact during potential development. Ms. Christine Sun, Chief Researcher and Strategist at Orange Tea Group, said the site could accommodate two HDB built-to-order BTO projects. Noting that the nearby 973-unit Tanglin Halt Cascadia BTO development occupies about 3.6 hectares. Property Portal Mogul, .sg's Chief Research Officer Nicholas Mack added that if used entirely for private housing, the site could be divided over three to four plots. Both said the gross plot ratio, when assigned, is likely to be on the higher end, with Miss Sun highlighting that many new BTO launches have a plot ratio of 4. 2 or more to optimize land use. Mr. Mack said a plot ratio of about 4.9 to 5.1 is possible, citing the current range of 2.1 to 5.1 for other residential sites in the area. Vacant residential land near an MRT station in the central region is rare and valuable. He said, adding that the Commonwealth Station is on the very popular east-west line, thus increasing the land's value. Given the recent completion and ongoing development of new homes in Queenstown, Ms. Sun and Mr. Mack said they feel there is no urgency for the site to be developed. Tanglin Halt Cascadia was launched in October 2023, while the HDB is slated to roll out another 250 flats as part of an upcoming integrated development in Tanglin Halt in February. These are part of the 5,500 flats that the authorities plan to build in the estate over the next 10 to 15 years. Ahead of the integrated development's construction, URA on January 26 published a proposed amendment to its master plan for the development site. Increasing its plot ratio from 2.9 to 3.5. The development is set to comprise shops, a market and hawker centre, as well as a polyclinic.